In this video, we're going to take a look at the FET Projectile Motion Simulator. Go ahead and click Lab, and it will take you to this page. Here is the cannon that launches the projectiles, and if you'd like to fire, you press this fire button, and it launches its projectile. Um, to change the angle, you just click on the cannon and drag it to change the angle. To change the launch speed, you take this little slider, and you click and drag it to get the speed that you want. To get rid of these paths, you press the refresh button, which restarts your angle, initial speed, and gets rid of any uh, trajectories, the paths that you can see. Um, you can change what you shoot with this little menu here. So you can choose a cannonball, a golf ball, a football, a pumpkin, a car, and launch those things. Uh, and in the top right corner, there are two tools. One is this tool that lets you measure um, distances. It's like a little tape measure. And then this other thing, which sort of acts as a stopwatch and also a kind of a tape measure, too. It gives you the range, which is like your X coordinate, and the height, which is your Y coordinate, and then a time for when uh, the projectile was at that particular um, um, spot. Also, you should note that these dots are all created at uh, equal time intervals. So I think they're tenths of a second. So you should see you go by uh, 2.9, 3, 3.1, 3.2. So the dots are, each dot represents 0.1 second uh, of the projectile's path. The last thing that you need to know is you can change the acceleration due to gravity here with this slider. You can have more acceleration due to gravity, so it kind of is like pulling down harder. Um, or you can, over here, change the slider and have very little acceleration due to gravity. Um, and of course, if you want to, you can change um, things like the mass and diameter of the projectile so I can shoot it and then if I want to change the mass and diameter maybe I can shoot another one oh that's a bigger car check that out uh, so that's what those functions do and uh, as, a, as a final thing if you want to you can click the slow motion button and it will shoot everything in slow motion which is always very fun okay so at this point um, you can go ahead and get started on your lab activity and answer the questions using this simulator.